Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Nerve Systems for the third installment of Tips and Tricks for Nerve Agent. Today we're going to look at uh, this button right here. It is the studio button on the NLS channel. I'm going to show you what it's doing first. If I click on it, it's going to cycle me through each of these uh, channel types on the NLS channel and in this case it's going through uh, one direction if I right click and the opposite direction if I left click. Um, so how do we do that? The other thing it's doing is it's showing me what the value is um, for each of those. Uh, it, it's synced with that. So let's go over to the configuration page. I'll close my NLS channel and we'll double click to open up the control settings in this and here you'll see we have selected the mode for this button to be cycle positive that means that every time we click it's going to move to the next position in this case we have it set for three steps three steps will equate to three display values down here so when we toggle the values on we will see what's in here um, and so as we go through again it's it's clicking through each one of those steps all right, um, then if I were to turn off the display values, uh, turn this back on, it still cycles through them, but in, it, it's not showing you the value anymore. So um, because we wanna be able to use agent as our primary interface, I like to have that displaying uh, on the screen. Now there's another way that we can accomplish this, and that is to set the type for this to be a three button switch or a three step switch, okay? Now, the first three uh, display values show up, one, two, and three. And then when we click, we cycle back and forth through those options. And again, that's gonna sync, of course, with our NLS channel, which is underneath. So, those are two options you have for uh, being able to see, get visual feedback on your, uh, on your agent interface. Um, and depending on just what suits you, uh, the nice thing about the cycle button is that it's not limited to three positions. So I can run up to 11 different values uh, to display on that button um, with, a, with, a, with a cycle button uh, implemented. So that's that. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hope it's helpful and you're starting to see some of the uh, power that is inside of Agent, especially with the fact that we can then map all of these to a hardware controller and uh, operate them in real time, multi-parameters multi at, at the same time and uh, get that tactile feel of having a real channel strip in front of us that we've created ourselves. Um, have a good afternoon and we'll be back soon. Thanks.